Hello everyone, welcome to today's math class. Today we have an unusual question, okay? It's belong, we solve questions on the uh, trigonometry, okay? Trigonometrical questions. But I saw this question somewhere and I, I felt it should be, you know, uh, uh, made known. The question reads, say, the lengths in CM of the sides of a triangle are X CM, then x plus 1 cm and x plus 2 cm. The way for that will give us some other information and say if the cosine of the smallest angle is 5 all over 7, calculate 1, the value of x, 2, the length of all three sides. Now look at the diagram we have here, the triangle. So we have your a, b, c, and here we have x plus 1, then here we have our x plus 2, and here we have x. All right. Now, let's go into this challenge without much waste of time. So we're taking our solution on this side here now, right? So, selection. Let's roll this up so that we have some nice space here. Now, look at this. This side now is facing this angle. This angle is facing this. And this side is facing this angle. So automatically, we're going to have this to be small theta b then we're going to have this to be small theta a and we're going to have this to be small theta equal to small theta c okay good so what we do we quickly recall what we call the cosine rule because they said the length sorry where is it say if the cosine of the smallest angle and if you check carefully the smallest angle will be equal to the smallest or the shortest length. If you look at it carefully, you discover that this will be the shortest length, followed by this, followed by this. So the angle that is facing the shortest length is our cos B, okay, which is given to be 5 all over 7. So we bring out our cosine rule for this angle here, angle B. So from here we know that our b square will now give us our a square plus our c square minus our 2ac plus our b. Right? Good. Now, from here, cos b is given, right? So since cos b is given, let's make cos b the subject of the formula. In other words, let's move this to this side and bring this this way. So and divide through by um, 2ac. So from here, this is going to give us our curse b will now be equal to our um, a to the power of 2 plus c to the power of 2 minus b square uh, all over our 2ac. Right? Good. I will get this on here. Now, what is cos b? Cos b is given to be 5 all over 7. So this is going to give us our 5 all over 7. This is equal to, what is our A? Let's come to our diagram, yeah? Our small letter A is this, which is x. So we'll put in here x plus 1 all to the power of 2 yeah, plus, what is our C? Look at our C. Our C is x here yeah, plus our 2 all to the power of 2 then yeah, minus, what is our B? Look at our b, our b is just x, so we have here x squared all over our 2 into our a again is x plus 1, close bracket, bracket, our c, which is um, this, our x plus 2, close bracket. Right, so what we do, we just have to go ahead to open up this, open up this, then open up this. So, Let's keep this side of our equation. If we open this, this is going to give us our x to the power of 2 there plus our 2x plus 1. Good. So we open up this, this will give us x to the power of 2 there plus um, 4x here there plus our 4 there minus this is going to give us x squared. Everything all over our two 
into, we open up this, it's going to give us x squared plus 2x plus x plus 2. Close bracket. All right. So let's go on. We have this to be our x squared, I mean, of the x squared. So this and this will leave. So we now have our x squared there. Have your plus 2x plus 4x, we give us 6x. Then 1 plus 4, we give us plus 5 all over. We want to use this to open up everything. Yeah, and we can add this together to give us 3x. So this is going to give us 2x to the power of 2. Then this times 3x we're going to get from here. That will give us 6x. So our plus 6x. Then this times this will give us plus 4. Mind you, we have this down here, which is 5 all over 7. Right. So what we do next here. We want to multiply through by 7 and also by 2x to the power of uh, uh, 2 plus 6x plus 4. If we do that, then we're going to come up with our 5 into 2x squared plus 6x plus 4 plus bracket equal to our 7 into x to the power of 2 plus 6x plus 5, close bracket. Now, from here, we want to use this to open up everything we have in here now. So this is going to give us our 10x to the power of 2, then plus our 30x, then plus our 20 equal to, here we have 7x squared, 7 times this will give us plus our 42x, uh, sorry, 42x rather, um, all right, so we have 42x, and this time this will give us plus our 35, right? So we want to move all the terms to the left-hand side of our equation so that we see the beauty of this and do some collection of light terms. So this is going to give us 10x to the power of 2. This crosses to this side minus 7x to the power of 2, then plus our 30x, then, yeah, minus our 42 x then um, any other x no then plus our 20 then move this this way minus our 35 equal to zero easy so let's subtract this from this we give us uh three x to the power of two then this from this this will give us a uh, 12 uh, minus 12 rather so minus 12 x then um this from this will give us uh, minus 15, right? So minus 15 equal to 0. Let's continue on this side. All right. Okay. We are almost there. From what we have here now, we discover that 3 can go in here, 3 can go in here, 3 can go in here. So let's divide through by 3. So let's divide this by 3, divide this by 3, divide this by 3. Okay. I believe the bottom is visible. So 3 into this, we are left with our x to the power of 3. Then 3 into 12x will give us minus 4x. Then minus 3 into 15 will give us a minus 5. This is equal to 0. All right. Okay. So what we do next here? What we do next here? It is easy. Now, this is a quadratic equation. So how do we simplify this? For the factors of 5, we think of two numbers that we will multiply together to give us minus 5. The addition will give us minus 4. And that will give us minus 1 and minus um, 5. Is it minus 1? No. It's going to give us plus 1 minus 5. So we can rewrite this as our s to the power of 3, then plus our x, then minus 5x minus 5 equal to 0. So plus x minus 5x will give us minus 4. So we are in order. So let's bracket this and bracket this. Then what is common here is just x. So we have the x here. We have x. The plus one close bracket minus five is common here, right? So five into this will give us x minus times minus will give us plus five into five one. Everything is one to zero. What do you observe? The terms we have inside the bracket are the same. So we take one and take this to outside. So this will give us our x plus one close bracket bracket x minus five equal to zero. 
we apply the zero product rule where we take this to zero, equate this to zero. So we're going to have our x plus one equal to zero or our x minus five equal to zero. This is going to give us negative. So we have here x is equal to minus one. And because we are dealing with length, this doesn't exist. Or we can say this is rejected. So this is rejected. So we take case two. So we have our x minus 5 equal to 0. So we have x equal to 5 cm. So that is the value of x that satisfies this expression. Yeah. Okay. But again, in the second part of the question, we are asked to find the length of all three sides. So the first length, we have our x is equal to 5 cm which is this. So this is equivalent to 5. Okay, then our ii, which is next one, we have x plus 1 is equal to 5 plus 1, which is equal to 6 cm. So here we have this to be 6 cm. Then we come to the third one, which is the last one. We have x plus 2 is equal to 5 plus 2, which is equal to 7 cm. Alright, so this marks the end of these three questions, trigonometrical questions. Alright, I don't all like us. We are too much on um, radical equation, exponential equation, and all that, all that. But today we decide to take a good look at this question. Alright, and again, if you learn something from uh, this math challenge, drop it in the comment section. And if you're not clear with any of these steps we apply in solving this, also leave it in the comment section. You have a better way of solving this math challenge, conserving time, then drop it also in the comment section so that all like math TV will learn from you. Remember, this is Jake's animal, and guess what? He loves you dearly. All of us at all like math TV love you dearly. Keep winning until we come your way in our next math class. Bye. For now.